Hey everybody, how's it going? It's The Daily Shooter. And you know, a lot of people choose a 12-gauge shotgun as their primary home defense weapon. And I'd have to say that that's a good choice. There's a lot of great choices, but a 12-gauge shotgun definitely will get the job done. But now that you've made the choice to actually use that as your home defense weapon, what type of ammo should you use? Because a 12-gauge is so versatile and there's so many different shells uh, available for it, uh, and there's so many rumors and myths about, you know, what can penetrate this and what's over penetration and under penetration that it really can get confusing. Now, this is my home defense belt, I guess you could say. This is how I keep it loaded up all the time. Uh, and if the S ever hit the F, I could simply grab this and I have it set up in exactly the way that I like it. Starting with the lightest being birdshot and the heaviest last five being slugs. So let me show you uh, a few of the rounds that I have and what I think is actually the best for home defense. Okay, so here's one of my ammo cans that contains some of my high brass stuff. And you know, if you don't know the difference between high brass and low brass, just a really quick visual for you. As you can see, the two shells on the side here, which are birdshot, have a very low or small brass section, which allows for a small amount of powder, so a small charge, low recoil. And the one on this side to the left here has a larger or higher brass section, which allows for more powder, basically more bang for your buck. You're going to get a higher powder charge out of this one, more recoil. Uh, usually tends to be a heavier load in something that's high brass, so there's low brass, high brass, just to get that out of the way. Now, back onto the topic of this particular video, which is uh, my favorite round for home defense when it comes to 12 gauge. Now, keep in mind that I know that there are opinions, okay? People have different opinions on what they feel is right for them, and I am not here to tell you what's right for you. I'm just here to tell you my opinion and what I think works for me, because you get people that are very passionate about overpenetration, and they will only use something that is number seven, eight, or even a number six shot. And then there's the other people who say that, you know, what's the point unless you're going to use something heavy like a slug or double, triple out buck, single out buck, something like that. Um, so there's both sides of the coin, and I think they both have arguable points for sure. But the way that I see it is, if you're going to use something like a lighter load, like a number six, uh, seven, or eight, because you're worried of it go maybe penetrating through drywall and injuring somebody on the other side, you're starting off kind of with the wrong mindset and that is simply because if it has a hard time going through drywall it's gonna have a hard time going through clothing and you don't want something that's gonna have a hard time going through clothing especially in let's say the winter time like it is now where you're gonna get people that may break into your house with a heavy coat or something like that on now yes birdshot will go through drywall not all drywalls you know there are sheet rocks out there that are extremely dense and very thick and it may not go through that but for the majority of the houses that are out there yes birdshot will still go through drywall and can still injure people there's a lot of tests on YouTube about that so that pushes me into the other side of the coin I am somebody who believes if somebody's gonna break into my house and has the intention of injuring or even killing myself or my family I need to stop that threat I need to stop them now and I'm gonna hit them hard and this is my favorite 12 gauge ammo for home defense for that exact reason. This is the Winchester PDX-1 12 gauge uh, Defender. This particular load, as you can kind of get from the picture right there, and I apologize for the glare, uh, shoots out three buckshot balls followed by a one ounce Foster Slug. And it hits very, very hard. This stuff is a little bit more expensive, but I think that it's worth it. Now, if you're recoil sensitive, you may want to take just, you know, grab a box of this and go out to your shooting range, practice with it first, make sure that it's something that you can use. But this is some fantastic ammo. I absolutely love it. And I went out and did some shooting with this, five gallon water jugs and whatnot, and I'll roll in some footage uh, of that so that you guys can see kind of how hard it hits. Uh, five gallons of water is very heavy and it lifted that thing up off the table and blew a pretty good size hole in it. Now this particular stuff right here has a really nice pattern and it seems to work well. Uh, it even gives you a diagram uh, on the side of the box which shows you how it is supposed to pattern. You end up with a center shot with the, with the slug and then as the distance increases each one of the buckshot balls uh, kind of spreads out. 
So when you purchase this round, you're getting, I think it's about $15 a box right now. I'm not 100% sure because I bought several boxes of this back when we were having that uh, kind of ammo shortage. And as you can see, it comes in 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 rounds per box. And it is well over a dollar per round, so it does get a little bit pricey. But if you ever had to use it uh, to defend yourself or your family, you're going to be happy that you spent that extra money. Now, feel free to disagree with me. Feel free to uh, put in the comment section that maybe you like a BB because you feel that BB is um, uh, something that's kind of in the middle of penetration uh, as far as that goes. This is, again, like I said, my opinion, and I absolutely love this stuff. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please like, subscribe. You guys have a great day.